poll are you now? You're what? Um, I've got uh, 70 in three weeks' time. Something like that. You're so I'm doing better than both of you, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you Do you know, I thought about that. It's only 13 years for me to be 70. And that's, uh, that's only as long as I've been married to my wife, you know. That's 13 years. So I looked at, well, how long is that going to feel from now till 70? So I went, and I went backwards through time, 13 years to when I first met yes. Mama. Do you know, it's not long. It's not, is it? No, it's really just round the corner. As you get older, things gallop away from you, like the years gallop away. They certainly do. They do, friends and everything. But, but, but there's one big advantage. <laughs> there's one big oh, advantage Alex, which he's, he, he's not going to need. You know? There's one big advantage, you, you, and you're not going to admit to, and that's the bus pass. I just got mine, you know? Ah. Yeah. I can travel far. Buy your own bus, it's easier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they rock and roll. They buy your own bus. <laughs> but what, do you ever imagine you'll be touring as long as you've been touring? I mean, and what? what I mean, no, I mean, you know, I, I had this poetic, romantic kind of juvenile idea that I would be dead by 30, you know, because that's all, uh, all artists think. I'll be dead by 30, you know, I'm going to get TV and die and lots of blood, Audrey Beardsley and all that. And, uh, but you don't, you know, you get past it and then suddenly you're 30 and you're 40 and then you're 50 and 57 and all that. And it's a new land, you know. Sure. I, I'm a pioneer. Me and my kind. That's right. Like Christopher Hershewood. Me and my <laughs> kind. Uh, just sort of scraping the edge of what this thing is about being a rock and roller at 57. Right. But my revenge is all these bands that are below us, you know, they've got to do this. So they're, they're kind of saying, yeah, they're like really old. But secretly they're thinking, I better watch how he does it because I'm going to get this. Because <laughs> there's know, no precedent. Travis, you know. It's <laughs> I bet he dyes his hair. That's never <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's true. I mean, you're the first generation, of course. It's no president. Do you know, I, there's it funny we're talking about toops, yeah. toupees. I, I wonder if I should name him. No, I better not. Go on. Celebrity, no, I can't do that. It's not no, my right. thing. Um, uh, my hairdresser used to work for him and uh, was sacked because uh, he didn't glue his toupee down properly for stage one night. <laughs> and he has a fan in front, like we all do, to keep us cool, you know. And the fan was going, he was doing something very attractive and highly sensitive on the guitar. And his toupee was like a little... <laughs> This dancing furry animal on the top of his head. And the audience were like in fits. They were falling into the aisles from the sensitive, you know, very socially serious kind of writer. And he went, ape shit. <laughs>